Oh, I gotta get a shot of him. <laughs> <laughs> you have to milk him, man. He does some fun. Three days, that could be a good cover for Hello, welcome to Hook Legends. Thanks for watching today's video. Um, first and foremost, I want to give a shout out and acknowledgement to our subscribers and viewers and say um, thanks for your support. Uh, I also want to say that I, I read each and I respond to each one of your comments. So um, I do listen to some of the requests that you're putting in for future videos. And um, as a matter of fact, some of the future videos that will be coming out will be in direct response to that. It may take a while. Sometimes it take a little bit longer to... Um, you know, get out and actually produce those videos, but I make a mental note for um, each one of those requests that you do. Now, with that being said, today we have a good um, video lined up for you with lots of information. Um, some of the feedback that I received from your comments, um, and I appreciate it. Someone indicated, that, hey, you were really catching a lot of fish in that last video, but it kind of gets a little old if you don't give any instructions. You know, sometimes when I'm out, I kind of go out with a plan on exactly what I'm going to do and what I'm going to talk about, and but sometimes those rods just get to bending over so fast, I kind of forget that plan and just start focusing on catching fish. So now moving forward, I'm going to try to do a much, much better job of giving you um, great information uh, to help you become a better fisherman also. But um, once again, I appreciate all of your comments. I'm going to stop talking. And um, there's going to be various points throughout this video that you, you want to watch this video from start to finish because I'll be giving tips and and, and how to's and I'm going to show you a rod layouts and, and the types of rods that I'm using and um, you don't want to miss any of it. Also you want to see the end so you can see the pile of fish that we put in the boat. Now this could have easily been a 100 fish day and we probably caught, I don't, we may have caught 56 or 70 fish because it got to a point where we were just catching them and throwing them back and um, it, we, we finally just moved. We went to a different spot where the fish were not biting but um You'll see all that in the video, so I um, hope you enjoy it. Let's get to the action. All right, got one on here. And uh, once again, I'm just trolling down basically the middle of the lake, um, flats area. They've been out here for a, a few weeks now. And what they're doing is slowly migrating to the the upper end of this lake to shallow water. There's lily pads back there. And uh, we're just taking our time and trolling about 1.1 to 1.2 miles per hour. Yeah. Actually, we haven't, we haven't hit the big ones yet, but these are definitely good eating size fish. And for those who didn't hear me say this in another video, this lake's going to be drained, so whatever size we catch, we're going to keep. Normally I throw a lot of fish back, but um, they're going to drain this lake, so we're going to keep these fish. Either my mom or someone at the Jig <laughs> Masters Church, you know, they won't have a field day. somebody's going to enjoy some um, fish. So. So as these fish, as the water temperature increases, these, um, these crop are becoming more and more active. And they're really coming out on this sand flat, which I, I think they're spawning back here, or at least pre-spawning. And it um, seemed like, you know, early this morning, some of the smaller fish were biting. They're still not huge fish, but they're starting to move up in size just a little bit. You got that more? Mm-hmm. Oh, give me that. I see a big mouth. Ah, this is a this is a decent crappie here. This is a decent sized crappie. Nice 
Okay, I want to talk to you briefly about equipment selection. Now, you can spend a whole lot of money um, on some equipment or you can spend a little bit of money. Now, I think for the money, for $9, you're not going to find any, you're not going to find any better rod than this Shakespeare Durango. So you can get a shot of that. Shakespeare Durango, $9. Now, you pair that up with a, these Shimano's X1000, I believe it is. They're about, um, they're about, they're about um, $12. So between the two, you get a great combination. Now I like to rig these with um, six pound test line and um, they make for a, a very nice outfit. Now these are six feet rods. So um, if you look up front, you'll see that the Jig Master is using a 12 foot rod. When you go with this type of setup, you want to make sure the rods in the back are shorter and the rods that you have up front, you want to make sure they're longer. Now, a good spacing for that is about four feet apart. And that'll give you enough room to work your fish. Now, when I'm in the boat alone, I take two six foot rods and put them off the back and immediately right there back sticking up in the air, I have another six foot rod. Um, but when you have multiple people in the boat, the person in the front of the boat usually just has some longer rods to hang out um, further. So um, that's the general setup. Now, when you see me fishing in the other boat, you're gonna notice that it's a little bit different. I have um, up at the front, I have, I think the spider rod racks, I forgot the name of them, um, rod holders, but I can have up to eight rods up in the front of that boat. And normally what I do is I go with a set of 14s up front, then right next to that, I have a set of 10s and then um, I can also put out a set of sixes or the person in the back can put out six foot rods and give you a um, nice even spacing so that's kind of the setup that we have here the one thing I'd like to add is that these um, Shakespeare Durango's they're actually um, what do they call them tubular glass so fiberglass I believe basically and um, they're tough I fished with these things for, for more than 10 years maybe a couple of decades or so and never broke one of them they have the perfect action with a soft tip so that when the um, crappie try to suck it in, it doesn't pull it out of their mouth. So um, it's just a great rod for doing this type of trolling. Yes, the Durango has action. Another one with quite a bit of heart. Quite a bit of heart in it. A double. Get this one for me. Take off line. Yeah, now once again, just trolling at 1.1, 1.2 miles per hour. Hold on, man. Nah, I got him. Man. He's down. Oh, he's still on there. Ah, got one. That almost turned into a double. I don't know. That's like a bad boy. He's putting him in the duck. Yeah, he ain't coming. He's not coming up.
Still having fun. Hmm. Still having fun. Mm -mm. Still having fun. Moving up in size a little bit, just a little bit. Now this one, you look at the stomach, this fish is not, you see that? This fish is not spawned yet. Let's see if we can go through and find some more nice ones. This means something's over there trying to be it. Yep, he in the pan. I got no point I missed, baby. Oh, watch out. You got him? I got him. Yeah. I got him. I'm going to look behind the bull in. Pretty big, ain't it? Pretty good. Looks like he's got a good mark on him. Okay, getting home. Drop that one for you back to the car. We're picking up a few fish here and there this morning, but um, they're not huge fish, but they'll definitely. A good eating time. about 1.1, 1.2 miles per hour. Mm -hmm. oh. Man, look here, this is what you call a double, a double bender, <laughs> a double bender. beautiful male out here so um that means and they got two at the same time so that tells me they're back out here we go mm. That's good. yeah just pulled a double here two at the same time so um we're gonna go back through that area see if we can catch some more oh 
Ooh, man. Man dragon is some lip. Man dragon is some lip. All right, I see that location. This feel like a pretty yeah. little man across here. Pretty big hole. Yep, sure do. Yeah, got me. Got one? Mhm. Oh, this one's shaking like one of those big bulldozers. Help, man! This one's shaking like a big bulldozer. <laughs> No, just a lot of heart. A lot of heart, too. Yep, a lot of heart. <laughs> I mean, that uh, frame size. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I wanted to throw out again. They're right up in this area. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They threw that thing in the middle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I lift him up. <laughs> you got show it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> got a little fight in it. Yeah, you got fight. They fight pretty good when it be out there now. Mm hmm. Like you got a horse. Like you got a horse. Okay. Take it out wide. Yeah, that's pretty good. Go ahead and lift them in and go ahead and take this one in, go here. Before we get hung up, because they cross over across my line over there. Let's take it back out to the front. Because we can't move. We can't get back out there if you could be fine. You got one. We got a double, a double shaker. Look at that, a double shaker. Got one too. A triple shaker. A triple shaker. Come through the hole back there. A triple shaker. Three at once. That's the end, dog. Hmm. Yeah, go ahead and take care of this one, man. I will take care of this one. Sometimes it's like that. I mean, you just hit a school of these fish. And um, that's why usually four rods can kind of keep you busy. I mean, two per person if you have two people in the boat. Um, fishing with much more than that. You get two or three going back at the same time. It's to be a bit much to manage. Well, today was a pretty successful day. Um, we're getting ready to wrap up. Um, got some nice, nice slabs. And, um, you know, this was one of those days where we could have easily put 100 fish in the boat. Um, the fish just were not protecting themselves very well. So, um, haven't counted yet, but there's probably 35, maybe 40 fish here. And um, so what we did, since they were just they, they were just biting like crazy, so what we decided to do was turn it into a jig test day and try various colors. Now, um, the reason you want to play around with colors on your local waters is because some will catch more fish, some colors and, and jig styles will catch bigger fish. For example, all of these huge fish here are in the vicinity of two or a little bit more than two pounds. And... Um, all of these fish came on one color jig and it's a color that 
we haven't used. I mean, I had it in the tackle box. We decided we was going to try some of them out. And um, there were some colors that produce um, a lot of numbers of fish. And there were colors that produce very nice fish. So um, once again, if you want to catch a, a lot of fish or quality fish, um, please consider using the trolling method. I talked to you a little bit about what rods, um, types to use. And I've showed you a little bit about how to, you know, set these up in the boat. So, um, once again, if you like this video, please click um, like, click the notification. Uh, make sure you, um, if you haven't subscribed, um, please subscribe. Click like and click the notification bell so you'll be alerted when future videos are released. So, um, hope you enjoyed the video. Nice one here, one nice crappie to go in the cooler.